A Zinesville entrepreneur will be swimming for her life on an upcoming episode of the ABC hit show Shark Tank thanks to this, the sticky tie. You just simply unpeel it, stick it on, and hmm. voila, how do I look? It's not bad at all. Yeah, you like it? Look at the camera. Let the viewer <laughs> see. It's all right. Our TV6 reporter, Tanya Spencer, has more on the sticky tie that Ellie Brown and her sister created, and it's soon going to put them in the national spotlight. It is a story only on RTV6. You can use it again and again. So I can take off my sticky tie and kind of show you. Um, you can stick it on. Um, kids like to stick them on the closet or their you know walls and wear them again and again. What started so as an idea to, to jazz up their kids' wardrobes really stuck. So with this, all you need is a plain white T-shirt and a sticky tie, and you've got a dapper little dude. <laughs> These reusable fabric stickers won't tear and feature designs to fit every age group. It's an invention Zionsville mom Ellie Brown and her sister brought to market about four and a half years ago. She and her kids and other family members modeled for the packaging, and the product is entirely made in America. This Zionsville shop, Ballerinas and Bruisers, was the first to carry her sticky ties, but they're now sold in more than 400 different mom and pop retail stores and even the container store and Party City. Her company, Everywheres, has done a half million dollars in retail sales. Not bad, but Ellie hopes her exposure on Shark Tank will make her product a household name. It, the experience was completely surreal. It was pretty much. Um, an out-of-body experience when I watch it now it's like I'm, I'm watching some place that I never was <laughs> yeah it was intense it was really intense but we had flashcards and we would stay up all night and just quiz each other like you know what are, you, what are your cost of goods for this how much does it cost you to make one of these no you're wrong <laughs> I mean we knew our numbers inside and out and hopefully that that came across when we were in the tank <laughs> Of course, Ellie hasn't been allowed to tell friends or family anything about how the show turns out, but she plans to have a big watch party here in Zionsville the night the show airs. Reporting in Boone County, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Can't wait to see how it turned out, and you can catch that special Tuesday night episode of Shark Tank featuring women entrepreneurs right here on RTV6 on January 13th.